I'm Toby and this is Sea Life. So, yesterday I also received another package. I opened it to make sure I had everything in there. But this one is from um, E Replacement Parts. So, E Replacement Parts. There is our chain for our chainsaw. There's our, I call it a coil, but that isn't what they're calling it. Um, ignition module. They gotta have all these fancy names for everything now. <laughs> and I bought two spark plugs. Two spark plugs. Two an ignition air module. Filters. Two air filters. And this is actually a chain guard. A I'm gonna just hold on to this. Probably at the end of the season before next year, I will replace that because mine's getting tore up and bent. But this just so that when the chain comes off, uh, this stops the chain so that it doesn't hit you in the leg and cut you up. But there we have it, and so we're going to get started. Um, so as you see, I already left. I just left it apart from the last time I was doing this. But uh, we got to put the coil back on here, so I need to take this part off. Here. Yep, so we came back over to the other farm so that while Daniel's working on this, I can be rolling pecans. There are so many pecans. If y'all are in Georgia and you need some extra money, go find you a free pecan tree because the wind has blown pecans out of these trees amazing amazing produce on the ground right now with those pecans and and uh, yeah go get under a pecan tree get a five gallon bucket and pick them up and uh, you can you can make pretty good money doing that um, I don't know exactly how much I haven't tried to cash in yet I'm so busy trying to get get them up off the ground so anyway but uh so while daniel's over here doing this i'm gonna hit on and go do that so hopefully he'll talk loud enough for you and you'll be able to hear <laughs> oh, all right honey i'll see you later so let's get this cap off from here i'm gonna move you a little closer so you can see what's going on right here and there not to mention I don't have to yell at you That. I actually like my uh, Poland Pro. They're uh, they they have served me well. I've actually had I've had what three or four of them. Um, they're not as expensive as some of the other major brands, but this is actually made by Husqvarna. So Husqvarna and that. And this one, and this Poland Pro are the same company that makes them. Um, okay. And then, let me make sure I get this on here, right? It should be... I guess it goes that way. Yep, there it is right there. Got to pull that off. I always have a tendency to start everything before I actually tighten it up, because First off, my dad told me to put stuff together no matter what it is. Start all the screws first. Well, there was a few times I didn't listen to him like an idiot and had to take the bolts back out and 
do it again. So I have learned that my dad was right. That's a little tight. Still kind of tight. I don't know. Okay, it's on there. All right, that's all back together. Now we just got to put the rest of the way back together, and we'll see if it starts. I'm sure it will. for that one. <laughs> this just kind of pushes on. Oh, I should have probably uh, probably cleaned it up while I was in there, huh? I just don't have all the tools to do it right now. <laughs> Plus I think my uh, I think my pull and likes to be dirty. If you start cleaning stuff up and stuff breaks. <laughs> you leave it dirty and it just runs forever. <laughs> I'm just going to get it started. stuff I take it. I will take these in to get them fixed. But I'm gonna try to start doing a lot more of my own repairs. Just when I can't figure it out. Plus when I was working all the time and only working or only doing stuff on the weekends, it just didn't make sense for me to do it. I hate small engines. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Let's see what we got here. This is a... Huh. The easiest way to do this is to lock it in place. Oops, that's because this way. Put that down. doesn't want my air filter in there. I think it's the right tool, but I don't know. Okay. That's in there. If that don't look right, I'm going to have to pull that back off. I think I got my wire run wrong. All right. 
Got it all put back together. I got I got it right this time. And the reason I know I got it right, sorry, is everything works out. So this is actually coming up the right spot. Instead of back here and it's not crimped in there. I got that wire running back here the way it's supposed to. So I got it all put back together right. Um, we're about to give it a start. See how it goes. All right, let's give her a try, see if this thing starts and see how it cuts. Today I went to uh, the mailbox and I got this package and it's from Woodland Mills. So let's see what it is. I always carry a Gerber on me. The, the army, when I was over in Iraq, they, uh, they issued these to us, which was awesome. <laughs> Actually, I got like four of them issued to me. It was great. And they're very, very handy. This is actually probably one of the better Gerbers. And here we go. What do we got here? What do you got? Oh, look at here. It's a hat. Oh, my goodness. Just look at that. Isn't that nice? Wow. How'd you get that, Daniel? Well, look at I, you. They said that they would send me a hat if I did a review for them. Well, I just want you to know, I love my Woodland Mills. <laughs> uh, HM3 or 130 Max. Max. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> He's got him a pretty love it. hat. It is, it is great. Yeah, look at that hat. We're going to put it on. He's going to try it on. Try it on right now. Oh, now that's a hat. Uh, there we go. That's pretty good, huh? Look at that. And he, he, we're not affiliated or anything. Nope. Uh, it's just if you give a review, they'll give you a free hat. That is so cool. Yeah. Dude, look great? at you. <laughs> free is the best price. Daniel says always free is the best price, and he's going to wear it an awful lot, too. <laughs>